This video demonstrates how to collect and store dried blood spots for genetic analysis. DNA and RNA extracted from dried blood spots can be amplified and genotyped for candidate gene analysis, real-time PCR, and determination of recrudescence versus reinfection. This procedure requires Wattman FTA Classic cards, 200 microliter pipette tips and micropipette, or equipment for a finger stick, zip-blocking plastic bags, and desiccant for storage. It also requires bleach solution for waste. Safety precautions for handling blood and infectious materials must be taken at all times during this procedure. These include the use of protective eyewear, shoes, and clothing, the use of gloves at all times, and proper waste management. Label FTA card with study subject number, initials, date, time point, and time of actual collection. If pipetting from venous blood draw, apply 100 microliters of blood to each of four circles. This will total 400 microliters. For each circle, begin at the center of the circle and move out in a spiral. Make sure the card is suspended while applying blood so that blood does not reach the back of the card. If using blood from a finger stick, apply 60 to 70 microliters or two drops of blood to each circle. Use at least three circles for a total volume of at least 200 microliters. Suspend card at room temperature for at least six hours to dry. Cards may be dried overnight. Do not apply heat to dry. After drying, seal card in a zip locking bag with a desiccant pack. Store cards in a cool, dry, dark place. Do not refrigerate or freeze, as this can allow moisture in the form of condensation to enter the bag.